shaking. This is the calling of Africa. Caribou, Kenya. <laughs> Hello, everybody. To the yeah. behind the scenes here in Kenya. Colin, tell us a bit about our journey to this point so far. Well, it was going okay until we sat on the runway <laughs> in Paris for two hours. Oh, no. Two hours, and then we get to Kenya, and it's, it was a lot more organised than it was last year. But our bags, which had priority tags on them, seemed to come out last. Yeah. Uh, and then our lovely guys who have organised the rental car just wouldn't be rushed. <laughs> <laughs> how much, nice guys. How often I told nice them guys, by the way. Lovely guys. So, yeah, it was about midnight when we left, and uh, it looks like we're going to get into Naivasha at around about 1.36 this morning. Yeah. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. But we're en route on the southern bypass. What are we driving as well, by the way? What have we got here? It's a Bishopogero. It's very good. Aircon seems to be working. Yeah, I think it's a little old. It's a little tired, but that, that doesn't bother us. The worst thing that you want when the hire car is a brand new one. Yes, heading to the guest house now to see Mr. P. Uh, I have some food. Apparently. I said no to food. <laughs> and here we morning, go. Morning, morning. That's a bit of a bigger smile since we last saw you, mate. Why would that well, be? That was five minutes ago when I was grumpy <laughs> and abusing everyone. <laughs> uh, you know, it's, it's amazing what five and a half, six hours sleep does for you. Chef Young. Chef, Chef Young. Is, yeah, absolute legend. Yeah. Legend. Um, an eclectic mix of things for breakfast. Quite the mix, isn't it? Quite the mix. But the most important things, obviously. Of course. Pure tea. Well, yeah, that's plenty, Chef Young. That's plenty. I've got to put some sugar in there. <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't have got much more in, could he? Right. You know what? When you've had a really, really... I wouldn't say a bad night, because I had a good solid six hours, but you're up nice and early. You just want to get into the day, and then this thing turns up. Donaldson, Donaldson turns up. It's nine turns o'clock up. in the morning, and this, <laughs> this so-and-so <laughs> doesn't want to work. It's paid. I'm a volunteer, and I'm ready to go. It's great to be back on the balcony here at Mr P's Marinja guest house in Kenya, ready for whatever the safari rally has in store for us for the next five days. So we're off to Recce to try and catch the drivers on their very last stage of Recce, is that correct? Yes it is, yeah. So the last thing they'll want to see at the end of Recce is dirt fish, but tough, that's what we do. They call me Colin of Africa. Why do they call me Colin of Africa? I don't know. <laughs> that's a very good question. Know. We've arrived at the start of geothermal stage and catching up with some friends and rally drivers, of course. And what's your name, sorry, mate? Salmon Vora, car number 29. Welcome to the yeah. behind the scenes. Guys, that just needs a small wash. Yeah. A little wash, we want to find the jet wash somewhere. We're trying to. <laughs> nice end one. of the day, hopefully. <laughs> end end of the day. Day. No point before the end of the day, you're quite right. What do you prefer to eat? Gregoire, Greg, Le Munster, Munched. <laughs> what do you prefer to be called? Greg is good. Greg is good. Greg is good. Greg is a good name. So that's Greg, our friend. You know, it looks like a big bike, but it's not. It's a 150. I bet it looks great. Look at this. The most important thing. What is this, sir? The music. Music. Yeah. You going in? You drop, where are you going? You're going to school? To... No, I'm going home. Going home? Yeah. So do you live on the stage? Yeah, I live here. How far? Yeah. <laughs> you will have a great view during the rally. Just take your cap off for a second. Let me see how the hair is coming on. I want to see. Do you know what? That's now getting good again. It was, it was, it was good. It was really bad. It was kind of good. That's now looking decent. Really decent. Thank you. I, I really appreciate it. From a man with no hair. From a man with no hair. But you're always known for being stylish, you know, so... I... He likes to think he's stylish. Talking, <laughs> Oliver. Talking. Let's see. Category. But my navigator here, Lynette, has been doing... Of the championships. Uh, where are we? We're in the media centre. They're all still relatively quiet because we've, well, we Tuesday now. There is the press conference screen. That's quite clever, isn't it? It's a nice digital screen. The most important thing, George Donaldson has found a decent place for a decent cup of tea. That looks pretty decent. Where are we headed to, Georgie? We are headed to Sleeping Board Air Stage, 36 kilometres this year, longer, new route. It rained in there yesterday yeah. afternoon properly all the cars on the recce got through but uh, i think it was um ot said it was oit oit said it was much worse <laughs> than uh, 
much, much wetter than previous years. And while we're on pronunciations, uh, Thierry, Thierry what? Neuvel. <laughs> Five minutes to stop now, isn't it? You'll be wet. If you stand underneath that, you'll get wet. George, in a matter of minutes, yeah. and certainly just a few kilometres, it's changed completely. Yeah. You know, that surface that we saw that was okay, it was offering decent grip. Well, what's interesting here for something. me to see Colin first hand again is the fact that a very, you know, literally two minutes worth of rain. The road is wet enough. Now let's just try the brakes here and see what happens. Chatter, 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 chatter. Almost half the braking is normal immediately, just as soon as I hit that. I don't yeah, see an impossible challenge here, fun. Colin. I think it'll be a massive challenge and I think we could see a lot of very upset people when they feel they're being wronged by the... Wronged by the weather. Wronged by the weather, the conditions. Jeez. Now it's very slippery. Now. Already that's full ice. Look what I can do with the steering wheel. Full ice. Look at that. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Full ice. Full ice. It's full ice. We're all over the yeah. place. It's full ice. Yeah, what are they? Lionfoot. What are they? One female, one male. Don't know which is which. Red beak. Male. Yeah, uh, well, probably. On you go, Georgie. It's getting a bit wet. Look at that. I mean, it's beautiful with those clouds. Honestly, there's an art and a skill. Oh, dear. There was an art and a skill to it. This is one of the strangest, most difficult and challenging road sections. Genuinely, George yes. and I've seen things like this way, way in the past. Oh. 20 years, I have not seen a road section as difficult as this. Ready for the day? Ready for the day, okay. Mr. P. Just about. Shake down today. Down today. <laughs> Morning. Shake down day. Shake down day. We've got some action finally. We have action and wow. our research, we've got plenty of action yesterday driving through Sleeping Warrior oh, in the wet. That wow. was fun. We have a very own tree house. Yeah. George is sleeping in there. <laughs> <laughs> it's the only place. When he misbehaves. <laughs> Come on. Well, well, say hello to everyone. Say hello to everyone. Fifth on 1983 safari. Yeah, right. <gasps> wow. Get, get, get it. No, get it. Subaru. Get it, get it. 140 horsepower. <laughs> Subaru. Whoa. And you won safari rally. Wouldn't, wouldn't even be able to spin the wheels in the wet. I'm coming back here 29 years. Wow. Wow. Yeah. So now he's, and, and now. Before he even got off the airplane, Toyota Kenya are collecting him to take him to some Your royalty. Stupid Your Kenyan Toyota <laughs> royalty. And, and <laughs> now today he gets collected by the organisers to go and be Zero Car tomorrow no. to dinner tonight. He's driving Zero Car. Only it is his mum. Yes, it oh, that'll do. In, in the big one, that's the one you wanted it. On the way to Shakedown today. Very excited. Are you excited, Colin? When am I not excited? When am I not excited? Yeah, very excited, but it is. Um, <laughs> It's a really good shake then. Colin, there's a, there's a, there seems to be a zebra on the road. <laughs> yeah, that's a common occurrence, a common sight. <laughs> Monster! It's his brother! So we were at this exact spot last year with GD in the behind the scenes. We're back again with Colin and it's still just as spectacular. your first time here what do you make of this incredible bit of road you can't beat it can you I mean, look, look at that roads, look at the scenery the mountains behind it's just absolutely gorgeous and there's an even better view across that side down to the lake um yeah it's a bit special but it's all special isn't it it's all just very very special so lovely way to start the rally yeah discombobulated because it's only wednesday <laughs> Team principals in the co-driver's seat. Go and have a look in there, go on. Get, get the camera in. Let's check this out. You show me afterwards. You have to see the... You have to see the movie. 
that's an unusual sight. It's an unusual sight. Does it? I think it does. He looks pretty good. He looks a little bit kind of film star like. He Can you feel him still shaking? It's a good sign. <laughs> <laughs> Who scared him? Who scared the boss? He does look a bit like a film star, though, doesn't he? Oh, yeah, he do. He does. He's got that look. <laughs> but that's as older you get, as more you look like a film star. Do you think I look like a film George, star? Yeah. Thanks. Thanks. <laughs> 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 Debrief. When they come back and say we've broken it, and he's like, oh, yeah, 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 he was like, We're off to the media zone, it's going to be really good to talk to everybody about the, the elephant in the room, the regs changing. Um, yes, it's diving. our first chance to talk to the team principals, isn't yeah. it? And then we're going to show them some old footage, we'll see how that goes, we're not sure yet. This is an interesting new experiment, isn't it? By now, yeah. it'll be on our social media, on the button just up there. Have a look. But take a look and see mm. what they thought of the 1972 mm. Safari Rally. That t-shirt, I am I am looking rather yeah. enviously at that t-shirt. It's a little bit too small for me, but it's dead, dead cool. Yeah. It is dead cool. Where can we get hold of one of those? Dirtfish.com. That's a cracking t-shirt, and I want one. As he said, dirtfish.com. Yeah. Have a look in the merch really section. Good. Loads uh, of have merch. you got any ideas for any anything you guys would like featuring on yeah. t-shirts? Because we can always put our design geniuses to good use. What do you reckon of this? Very cool. Whose life did you save in the media zone? Should we have a look? I saved the life of the Prince of Rallying. The Prince of Rallying. I saved Cali Robin Perra's life. Saved his life. Look at it, see it coming, coming, coming. Like a look at that, like a gazelle. Cali was impressed. Yeah. And he thinks you saved it as well, not his <laughs> PR behind it. I'm here with this guy who you must know him in the WRC. Dirty Fish. What's your name? <laughs> Dirty Fish. Dirty Fish, not quite the Dirty Fish. Colin. Colin Clark from Dartfish. Colin Clark from Dartfish. Yeah. What is your country? Where do you come from? I'm from Scotland, uh, but we're an American company. We're based in the States. That's of so of yeah, we are. We're, we're out here, obviously. But Dartfish is an American company. company. We're basically a driving school. We teach people how to driving drive. Driving school. Cars. And you are, what are you doing to the rally? There's no driving school here. No, 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 no. We're here to report on rally. Oh, very rally. much here to report on the rally, but we are a rally school at heart, based in, in, in Seattle, in Washington, in the United States. Yeah, a good day, really good day today. Um, quite an intense day, I'd have to say, uh, but it was fun. I was intense, but not as relaxed as Colin. I had lunch and afternoon tea. <laughs> well, Sorry, didn't get, Colin. Didn't get <laughs> either of those things, unfortunately, but we've just had a wonderful end of day. Pot of tea with Mr. P. Lovely dinner, which was, what did we have earlier? We had... Beef. Beef and ch beef chapati. Stew. Beef and pea stew, chapatis, and some spinach from Mr. P's farm. So oh, it just revitalises it. you, doesn't it? But do you know what distracts me? I do like his t-shirt. I've said it a few times. Spurs are still my favourite. Yeah, oh, absolutely. We, as, as children, that's the one we dreamed about. Yeah, that, and now for the, meals. The, absolutely, but the, the, the Audi was just the most spectacular and ridiculous machine ever, and I love it for that. The Peugeot was the most refined. And I decided to do something for you. <laughs> That's art. No way. Jeff Young, it's like a wedding no cake for me way. and Mr. Bean. It's like a wedding cake. <laughs> We're getting married. Oh, okay. De, 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 de. Wow, so you printed that and it's... Uh, how have you done that, Chef Young? Oh, wow. And this is a beautiful cake inside here? Yes. Wow. Good morning, everybody. It is a very sunny and blue clear sky Thursday here. But we're having a change of scene for breakfast this morning. Wow, we've got a dilemma here. Can I have 50-50? No, 50 Next, that would be good. The talent is hard work sometimes, isn't it? We've been treated outside this morning. It is an absolutely wonderful day. Wonderful food. Absolutely excellent. I had a delicious breakfast, a samosa for breakfast, followed yeah. by some toast and two different jams. The time lapse is running. We're driving to Nairobi. Mm. Plenty of fever on the roads here. Plenty, plenty, plenty. Looks great, doesn't it? Uh, yeah, and it's you know it's a colourful drive. It's not it's not an easy drive, that's for sure. But it's a colourful drive. Wildlife shops, yeah. businesses. Yeah, markets. You know, it's, it's the it's the beating heart of a lot of people's lives. Absolutely. This road. So uh, there's plenty to to take a, a look at. 
on this drive, like donkeys, for example. I love the donkeys. Look at them. They're such good-looking donkeys as well. Healthy-looking donkeys. You'd be mistaken to think we've just parked in LA by by the side of the road. But Colin, it's just beautiful. Just beautiful. The colour. Look at the colour of all these lovely little crafty stones. Wow. Those who watched our video from last year will know we stopped here, and it's just rude not to. Just look at it. Yeah. We're being told what's where. 9,000 marching luggage. Wow. Yeah. And this marching luggage, 2,000 feet. All the way through Africa. Oh, this small one here, yeah, yeah. It's a term for marching luggage, not running to a lap. They're going to take a lap. So it is run here. How many feet? Is this here? How many feet? Oh, here. Yeah. It is. 2,000. 5,000? Yeah. Oh, hello. Oh, and then off he goes again. So it was too good to be true. We want to be here, but the roads are what they are here, and we found ourselves downtown Nairobi. Well, no, yeah, we're, we're just slightly. A bit of sightseeing. Slightly out of the way, yeah, 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 yeah. But we'll be back on route and at the Super Special in no time. Fingers crossed. We did make it, thank goodness, to the opening stage. Uh, so this is the driver's tent. Holding zone, there's Elliot. Did a decent job navigating us here. Uh, across there is the holding area. You can see the cars through there. And you spin round just behind us. That's the start line. It's fantastic, isn't it? A VIP area just beyond that. Uh, and the crowds are there. It's great. It's, it's, a, you know, it's a really nice atmosphere. Everyone comes together. Takasan, Esapeka. Lappy is there, his co-driver, and obviously Cali Romper. Uh, one or two others, there's Kaito there. Plus Greensmith, Elliot Edmondson. Yona is there as well, as is Oliver. White Tanax there. Brought some cushions with him. There's Molly, WRC Telly. Some of our local drivers. This is a great thing, isn't it? It's all very, very relaxed. Everyone just gets on. It's one of the great things about rallying. People just get on with each other. Certainly the drivers do. That's our Ford boys, or our M Sport boys, shall we say. Heading in towards the opening stage. Rally one, cars, we love it. They sound great, don't they? That was a fairly stressful few minutes, but all for good reason, because we found ourselves on a nice clear road heading back towards service. We've ended up in a really beautiful part of Nairobi and Kenya. It's absolutely gorgeous. Tea plantations, beautiful green hills, nice, reasonably clear roads. Smooth uh, it's, roads. It's actually quite a pleasant drive now. Uh-oh. Yeah, oh, our oh. friend. Yeah, it was our friend. We bumped into this Saman. guy. Really lovely guy. Really lovely guy. We bumped into him on the recce. Only his sixth rally, I think, he's got the Skoda R2. Really lovely Skoda. Uh, but he just got a big time wrong there. Way, way too much pace into that corner. Looks like it was he a bit distracted by the, the perhaps the dust of the car in front. Maybe he got confused. Oh, you know, I don't know. That's another it's one. It's a different car. Actually, it's another <laughs> car. Another moment. So, you know, it was an old drive that we somehow managed to miss. Gary's here. Hello, yes, Gary. Yes, Hello. All right. Do you want to cover the lens with your hand and then we'll transition to tomorrow morning where you're probably a bit grumpier and without here coffee? Here we go to tomorrow. <laughs> and good morning, oh. everyone. Colin, I've got something to show you. You do. And it's right here. Yeah. Now, I'm going to quickly click my fingers to last year. In terms of planning, this is a great start. It's a great start, having the time there. Because I'm always asking him, what time is the stage? He's always having to go to the road book and all this. But what I've just said is, look, because next time, you know, sometimes I need to know how long the stage is so uh. I can work out how much time we've got to get to the end of the stage. Length of the stage as well, and, and it'll be almost perfect. The handwritten was, was a decent effort, just scrappy. 
scrofulously scruffy. Mm. Uh, but this is, yeah, the guitar here, isn't it? No, it's, it's a good effort. Well done, mate. It's been quite a dramatic, I suppose, opening stage. Oi Tanak talking about problems with two-wheel drive. Off the rim, rear left for Cali, same for Elvin. Uh, but it's looking really, really quick, really quick. So what happens at the stop lines? The ladies are doing a wonderful job making sure all the cars, ladies and gentlemen, making sure the cars are all done. Time's going on the boards. WRC Tele interviews the drivers. We get pictures and find out what's going on. Road section between two and three, really rough along the north shore of Lake Naivasha. Ooh la la. Thierry, where did that happen? 3K into the stage, puncture. Oh. And it just exploded 150 meter before the finish. Oh, 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 it just exploded there. So you just about made it through then? Oh, yeah, better. But now I will not see anything. I'm taking the stones in my head. Oh. Goggles are out, cold for Neville. Mm. And we've seen why at the side of the stage there. We saw Thierry and Martin cutting away some of the, the bodywork, the damaged bodywork thing. Um, skin, if you like, between the wheel arch and the interior of the car, all cut away, big, big hole. So they are obviously anticipating things getting very, very dusty in that car. They've gone in with goggles, with masks. They've got a stick and a wee cloth to clean <laughs> the windscreen if it gets dusty on the windscreen. They are prepared so for potentially anything in that stage. Fair play to them. Uh, they seem to be going quite well. We, we, we didn't, didn't think there were any issues with the suspension or the geometry or anything like that. Uh, and it appears that's the case. So maybe, maybe that's Neville's bit of luck. Maybe he's yeah. got away with it. Hello, 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 hello,
Marriage. So if you have a small couple, yeah. <laughs> we're all friends together. No talk for the hour. But for a couple, it's perfect. We, we saw just a few times during the years. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's enough. It's the best plan, no? And see you later Friday. We're going. Oh, yeah, we're going. Do you want to hit the lens again? I'm going to see them tomorrow. And Sleeping warrior. There's been something I've been waiting to do for a while, Carl. Oh, do you know what it is? Take a look at this. Boom! Boom, and it was gone. Friday is Boom. done with. We're here Saturday. Let's go to Soy Sambu, speak to our drivers in the morning. It's like we've got a zebra crossing, Colin. A zebra crossing. A zebra cross. Okay, so a few of the guys have gone across. Yeah. But look, there's clearly a red light, which means it's our go. And these chaps are going to wait for us. Stage in the very distant over there, the dust. See you later, guys. So we're here at one of the better stop lines in the World Championship. Look at that. Lake Elementita in the background. Probably some flamingos there as well somewhere. We've got Cole here. And Molly. Hello. 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 But then also the sleeping warrior in the background, reminding our drivers what they're going to face after this stage. They think, ah, we've got through Elementita, a bit of relaxing, but no. And then 30 k's. And remember, it's a different sleeping warrior, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So we stopped here at the Elementita stopover. And Raphael, we're going to walk over here to this window because we're going to look at something. Okay. Because this shows the love that we get in Kenya. Okay. We've got something on the wall here and we didn't put it there this year. Here is a Derpish sticker from last year. <laughs> yeah. Wow, so we're back. With I mean, this is great. So how, how's it going? How's the rally going for you? Very nice. Awesome. And, um, we are happy to see you back. Wicked. We Welcome to Kenya. Yes, and we are very happy to be back. Yes. We've got some more stickers for you, so we'll get you some more stickers. Yes. Perfect. Look. We love that. So it's been a dramatic Sleeping Warrior stage. We've just got to get our stuff together, get some content out there, try and find where my colleagues are is a good start. I feel like I'm in Alice in Wonderland. Are they down here? Oh my gosh. That George well. did a great job Monster. of finding Munster. How was that for you, George? That was some experience, that mate. That was actually, it was really difficult. You know, we're at the stop mm -hmm. of the stage and he came with a broken car. How were we going to find him? Well, actually, of course, it was unbelievably easy. <laughs> we finished our job and went and spoke oh, to look him. Look at that. It's just, do you know what you forget? Look just, at that. We're saying how hot and humid and difficult it is. These guys have got no necks on, they've got overalls on. Same rock as four, man, two years ago. He had, he had ago. the notes specifically and he still got it wrong. Ah. Uh, Mr. P is an absolute legend, looking after us brilliantly. If you are thinking of coming out here for safari or just to visit this region, uh, Marinja Guest House in Naibas. Back at Elementita. I want to join in. Okay. A little bit of karaoke. Rain dance, you could say. Oh, well, could be, because look that way. <laughs> if it is a rain dance, it's working. <laughs> Thank you, sir. 
This is just what you want to see at the end of the day. We are wiped out today. Eating today, I'm not often this tired. <laughs> no, it makes two I of us. I think it's conditions. For the past time, I've seen coins tired, looking tired. Usually there's a lot more a lot singing and, and yeah, talking yeah. and jumping today. He's met the warrior, the real warrior. The sleeping warrior, <laughs> the sleeping warrior struck out. us today, didn't the he? The warrior struck us down. Yeah. All Do you know what it was? It was, the, it was the road that struck us down. There's been, you, it was quite cool. Mr. P, you're the most stylish man in the world. Look Niagara. at that. There's a new outfit every day, isn't there? You're, you're the most stylish man in Naibasha, sorry. Today, I love you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. You like this. But did a world champion call your ankle protectors cool? <laughs> yes. Oh, come on. The world champion said they were cool. Your shoes are so cool. I was watching them already a while. Like, I've never seen this kind of, I don't know, like, what is this? Like a on top. <laughs> Must um, be quite good for the fish fish. Well, th that is exactly what it's for. It's is for it the, working? Yes. It's for the dust, but it's also for the snakes, for the scorpions, for the ants. Yeah, true. Yeah, true. Keeps them from going down. That's good. Looks good. I like the fact you said they were cool as well. Elvin said they were silly. Yeah, but it's a far respect. Sun time again. Just Sunday to go now. Isn't that right? What do you make of this, mate? I just love it. I absolutely love it. Do you know, one of the first cars I ever drove was a Land Rover. I had for um, two summers in a row when I was 19 and 20, brand new Land Rovers. Quite remarkable how little they change over the years. They're just, they are just fun. They are, cause they, you know, they are, there's nothing luxurious or compli complicated about them. And yeah, you sit up there and you, you feel as if you're kind of, you know, Lord of the Manor, <laughs> driving your Land Rover. Sliding or, across um, the front seat. And you turn and around and you look down into the, into the valley with the, as you see, these imposing cliffs just off either side. It's incredible. And you're driving up here with giraffes and zebras and gazelles and monkeys. And it, it's just special, isn't it? It's yeah. just really special. But the atmosphere is special as well. It's a little bit of an issue sometimes getting out of here because there's so many spectators. And we've got a car coming in now. What, what's, what's the protocol here then? For those who, who don't know. Jordan. Uh, they come in, they stop. They do the paperwork with their time cards. They do their interview with WRC Television, and then off they go. Uh, Shall we have a look? talking about here, yeah, it's a pick of it's doing a part-time season, but as we know, Sunday points. So the boys are live streaming in the background just there, but over in this direction, at the Osarian Ranch Cafe, I believe we are at. Just take a listen to some of the noises these beautiful birds are making. Again, just one of those moments during this rally where you're in disbelief that only two kilometers that way you have WRC cars tearing around the stage, but here you just have paradise. What makes it even more like paradise is that they have the rally on the big screen. That's all that matters. The final time on the road of hell. Look at, I mean, just look at the dashboard. <laughs> Pretty bad, isn't it? Oh, there we go. Not if you're in one of those, it's Look not. how easy it is for him. Not bouncing. even bouncing, just floating. 
Whereas we are shaking, rattling, and rolling all over the place. And we have to dodge the baboons. Yeah, those baboons and the giraffes. And that was quite entertaining earlier. Yeah. Right in the middle of the road, the giraffes just elegantly having his breakfast from some of these high trees. Sure. That's Casey Baker Lappy. Look at this, the kids are great, aren't they? Aren't they just lovely? Look at that. A proper safari gilet. How have I survived without one of these? Oh, yeah. perfect, perfect. Do I look as if I'm just off to spot some birds and see some rhinos? What else have we got here? Magical Kenya. Boys, this is very, very generous of you. Magical Kenya. All the heat. Magical Kenya, jambos. So, dirt fish, as you saw, back in the media zone, and the two dirt fish mobiles are parked next to each other. We've got Thunderbird 1. Thunderbird 2. So George has been a bit more off-road than we have, by the looks of it. Yeah, great to see you back, great to see you winning in six months. I think since your last win, isn't it? Is that about right? I don't, I don't count, but it's too long. It was too long. Uh, when's your next outing then? What's, what's on the agenda? We have changed only one time the boat, we just the rest it was, it was only one piece every time, not even sometimes blue, something blue, or whatever. The time has come. It's oh, always such go. a it's such a sad time. It's all a sad the time. time. Oh, we're it's in a, a sad time. There's, there's lots of videos there. going on. Videos being taken. The JW Africa boys here yeah. as well. I'm it's all very there's a lot of deja vu. Thank you. So thank you to Mr. P. Big big thank, thank you for looking after us and his lovely staff, Chef Young. And the lovely, lovely staff, it's been wonderful. Guys, it's been a pleasure. All right, and of course, George Johnson. Get George. Your arse down the road before it's dark. Yeah, Go he, on. he knows all about the traffic here. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. 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 We nearly went a hole behind the scenes without singing. Asante Sana. Asante Sana. Asante Sana. <laughs> Goodbye. Guys, thank you so much for tuning in to another incredible behind the scenes in Kenya. Leave your comments down below if you enjoy these videos. We do read every single one. Oh, one last bump before we head off. Guys, catch us soon in three weeks time in Croatia. See you later. See you later.